Hey guys, what's up? Eddie Alho here with KissAnalog.com. Hey, today I, I want to do a book review and I want to do it on this author who I really respect. I think he's awesome. Now, I don't know if these are the best for a beginner, but I don't think they're that going to be that difficult either. This book right here, this A to Z, might be a great one to start with. Uh, I actually bought this one first and just after picking it up, looking at a few pages, I went ahead and ordered this one as well. You know, I, I buy probably, I mean, back in the day, there were no power supply books. I started write, writing one several times. I moved around the country a lot, and so I never really got time. It takes a while to really write a book, and I guess I just never really gave it the time to do that. Well, then all these authors started coming out, and there's some pretty darn good books that came out. These are two of the really good ones. Now, these are first editions. Uh, they've come out with second editions of both these books and now he's come out with a third edition of this one and I'm going to tell you how you can get that free I'm going to talk for a little bit about that one but I recommend getting the second edition to start with okay the third edition you download for free we'll talk about that later let's jump into this book I'm just going to point out a couple things and uh yeah okay yeah it's kind of hard to have a big smile on my face and and like I would like to talk about these because I just learned that Sanjaya Maniktala and I probably butchered his name I apologize for that but yeah I heard he passed away uh, this year 2021 in February and that's pretty sad um, he didn't I don't think he's that old I yeah it's terrible news but he was a very great author I read a lot of his application notes and then I got this book and then I started putting two to two together. Now a lot of the application notes I read that were really good, I I don't think he got to put his name on it. I think he worked for National Semiconductor and they don't give author, you know, identification on those. So but reading them, you kind of get to see a style of writing and I thought, man, those those do look like his writing, but his application notes have been read a lot from what I understand because they are really good and some of the other companies he worked for he worked for Freescale he worked for a bunch of different companies um, but yeah I read some of his other application books from some of these other companies and they're always just top-notch I mean they're he he brings something new he doesn't just regurgitate or break it down he he actually came up with the ripple theorem you know what percentage ripple like on the buck covers i've been talking about and he he's uh, came up with the scaling principle for llc converters which he talks about in his third uh book his uh third edition to this book uh that book's that book i, I would say it's more of a part two to the second edition because it covers um you know some stuff that's pretty serious difficult stuff in power supplies. LLC converters, he talks about how they're actually, I mean, power supplies in general can be tricky. Uh, they can, you know, they're analog stuff, right? I mean, there's some magic dust sometimes, you think, until you really figure it out. But sometimes it does seem like magic. And and uh, LLC converters, he talks about how tricky and how difficult they are and how he tries to simplify that. And he brings some um, intuition to his studies and and he just breaks things down I think in a way that makes it easy to understand so let's take a look at his book and we'll come back for a moment and I'll tell you where you get a free download all right guys here's the cover and second edition you can see here Sanjaya Manic Talia hopefully I'm not butchering the name okay pull up the table of contents that was the cover there's the title Let's look at the copyright. Written in 2012, copyright in 2012, and preface. Okay, so then we go into the contents. This is interesting because chapter one, look how it's broken down into some magnetics terminology and, and things like that. And then chapter two is your DC DC converters. So, for an example, in, in chapter one, we're breaking it down and he's showing you a board and the name of the components primary side secondary side the transformer with the isolation boundary in the middle 
And then chapter two, he goes into DC DC converter design with magnetics. Here's an example. So interesting this table, how he's broken this down. It's nice to see that. And for the buck, the boost and the buck boost, here's your duty cycles. So that's an interesting look. Another important thing here in chapter two, let's go to this next page. I mean, chapter two is full of a lot of stuff, but this current ripple ratio right here, this is one of the things he's known for is coming up with this. And so I just want to show you this first page on this. This is how he kind of starts off, but this he's known for this. And then over here on the left, I'm going to click on the optimal value var. So he comes out and he has this 0.4 and he does a lot to explain why that is. So very interesting stuff. He's been given a lot of credit for the work he's done on this. Okay, also in chapter two, he's got worked examples and those are really nice. He goes down, there's six different examples. I'll just jump into this example five, when not to increase the number of turns. This is a really interesting section here. Okay, so then in chapter three, uh, he goes into offline converter design, magnetics to fly back. He's really good at this stuff, so I recommend it just for this chapter alone. So here's an example, flyback transform design in chapter four. And this is a pretty in-depth table here. Now, one thing about the this table in the uh, digital version like I have here, I find it pretty hard to read some of these tables. And I don't know what I'm doing wrong, but you know that that's pretty pretty hard to read. So the printed book is better for these tables for sure. Unless I'm just doing something wrong, I have a setup wrong, I'd like to know what it is, but uh, this is really one of the few books I've had trouble with. And I'm, I'm using my Kindle, you can see up here. So it's gotta be something I'm doing wrong, but maybe you guys can tell me. But anyway, most of the tables don't have that much information. Okay, uh, chapter six, you can see it's component stress and ratings. And it's got a few sections here, you know, chapter seven, optimal power component selection. So he talks about some key factors and how to select components. And then chapter eight, conduction switching losses. This is a really interesting chapter. He has some worked examples here and he breaks down the math and he shows you how he calculates this in the worked examples. And chapter nine, discovering new to, uh, topologies. This is an interesting take he has, he's, he's illustrating here. Uh, up on top, we see a synchronous buck. So the switching fit on top and a synchronous fit down here, and the inductor here. And then he shows these waveforms, they all look very similar. But if you notice this little diagram here, it says rotate the schematic and look at that. Sure enough, you just spin the schematic around and you have a boost converter. Pretty interesting, right? There's a close up of what he's depicting there. Again, a little hard to read sometimes on these diagrams for me on my electronic version. Here's a four switch buck and he goes into this breakdown. Okay, chapter 10 is printed circuit board layout. And you can see in this diagram here, he's showing you uh, the different types of converters. And he talks about the switch time on versus switch time off. And he shows these loops. And this is something I always talk about is the loops you wanna be careful about when you're doing your layout. And chapter 11, look at this, the thermal management. There's quite a few things. It talks about traces. And chapter 12, Feedback loop stability analysis. Check this out. This chapter has a lot of information in it. Talks about Laplace transforms, 
I mean, there's he really goes in this pretty deep, pulls and zeros, and talks about the log. But so this is a great chapter just to refresh yourself on on game loop transfer functions. Interaction is pulls and zeros, and then finally down here at the bottom, we got the ESR zero. It's something that's good to understand. And then type one and type two compensators. We, you know, this is kind of what it breaks down to often. And compensating with current mode control. So a lot of good sections in this chapter. Okay, and then chapter 13 is advanced topics. And here's your voltage ripple. This is that ripple thing he gets back into talking about, explaining, you know, all the ins and outs of that. Okay, load sharing parallel converters, that's an important topic. Front end of AC DC power converters, chapter 14. Let's open that up. Yeah, he breaks it down into your low power applications and your high power applications. So just giving you an idea of what some of these diagrams look like. Okay, and then chapter 15. EMI standards, measurements. It goes into an overview and then the measure, measurements with conducted EMI. Then chapter 16, the, the practical EMI line fillers and noise sources and power supplies. And talks about line filters here. And then comes down here and breaks it up into DM, which is differential mode versus CM, which is common mode. Sometimes DM is known as normal mode. Then chapter 17 is fixing EMI across the board and input in, uh, input filter instability. Another really important topic, input instability. This is where you're showing the looking into this way, the impedance of the source versus the impedance of the input of the power supply. So you got your filter on the left and converter on your right. And each one is looking at the other one, seeing what the impedance is. And then he goes into a bunch of math about magnetics. You can see this breaks down to a bunch of different filters. We got practical DM, differential mode filter design. Here's an example here and a diagram showing that. And the CM, practical CM design, and a diagram kind of depicting that. And then he has solved examples of FET selection, your conducted losses, switching losses, inductor losses, input capacitor and output capacitor losses. So lots of different things here, control loop design. So here's your control loop, here's the uh, Kind of a one of his diagrams for that. And then of course an appendix. A lot of tables, good information to have in those charts. And an index. So Yep, pretty cool book. Second edition, switch mode power supplies. First edition's an, an excellent book as well. All right, guys. So, um, so like I say, I'm gonna I'm gonna provide a link down below for this book, the third edition. You can download for free. But like I say, I, I would download. I would go to Amazon or wherever. I'll put links down below. I appreciate you using those. But I'll put links to uh, these books, the first and second editions, whatever I can find, and um, and if you can find used versions which I think there's some used ones down on the links too. The, uh, once you go to the new book, you look over to the side and it'll show you if there's still used ones available, okay? And you can get those, but first, second edition, either one, you know, depending on the price, I'd, I'd get any one of them. Uh, like I say, he, he's one of the best authors, I think, and I think he really understood power spies, obviously, really well, not just because he wrote books, but because 
of what he says in them and how he covers them. And the more experienced you are, the more you understand how good this guy is. But, uh, yeah, and there's uh, Rosano. God, I'm sorry, I forget his name right now. Um, but he was a co-author on the third edition, and he's supplying that book for free now. Uh, shoot. I'll put his name right here. I, it's Rosano, I think. Um, but, yeah, I've watched some of his... Um, I think Dr. Ray Ridley uh, interviewed this uh, the co-author and on LLC Converters, and he did an excellent job. So yeah, I it's no wonder why they work together. But all right, guys, hey, thanks for watching. Uh, thanks for all my Patreons, all my supporters, and appreciate you guys and. If you like to see book reviews, say on Tuesdays, some day of the week, we call it uh, Book Review Tuesdays, then yeah, go ahead and give a thumbs up. If I see an inordinate number of thumbs up, then I'll know that you guys want that, and I'll I'll do that, okay? And uh, thanks for watching. And next time we'll be a little happier. We'll review another book, okay? See you next time.